Hello everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hope you guys are having a good holiday. Uh, so today I am going to do a video on how to automate opening of website based on a list of items. So this is a reply to a Reddit question. So House 5 has a list of products product one, product two, product three, and so on. You would like Power Automate to create links from these products. Link format is www.site.slash product, right? This is just a sample. And then I would like to reset all of the product pages and scrape the data. How do I make that to change values taken from Excel? Product one to uh, put into the uh, site address. And then secondly, how do I make it open all product sites? Some delay would be nice. So basically, I have uh, prepared a list, right? All the products. And then uh, I have uh, created a Power Automate flow. So when uh, you run the flow, right? It will open up all the uh, sites. So for example here, you can see the website and then the item, right? Then it will go to the next product and open uh, the second product and so on and so forth. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is uh, create a product listing. So it can be anything. So it can be a list of all your items in the Excel file. All right, then uh, open up Power Automate Desktop. So what you do is the first step is launch Excel and open the following document and uh, open up the product listing, SL exact file. All right, uh, make instant visible, uh, open as read only. Uh, the rest you can leave it as default, right? Uh, then what you do is uh, read from Excel worksheet, Excel instance, Excel instance, retrieve all available values from worksheet, get cell contents as tags enabled, first line of range contains column names enabled, variables produced is Excel data. Then you only want to retrieve one column. So you use retrieve data table column into list. Data table is uh, Excel data. And then column name or index is uh, products. Because my the title of my column is products, right? So you will retrieve that data table column into a list. Next is you launch a new Microsoft Edge. Launch mode is launch new instance. Initial URL can be anything. Then Windows state is maximized. Uh, then uh, you can enable wait for page to load. Then uh, the rest I leave it as default. Variables produced is browser. Then you use for each, right? For each value to iterate column as list into current item All right then inside this loop you need to set a variable so your variable is a uh, name will be a product website or any other variable name so what you do is you put in your link right slash then you do a percentage then a current item then percentage right so this will read the first uh, product Right, then after that, you will read the second and third. Right, this is your current item from the list. Right, then after that, you use a uh, create new tab. Create new tab, web browser instance is browser. URL to navigate to is product website. So this is the name uh, of the variable that you have uh, used there, eh? product website. And uh, at once, you can uh, put wait for page to load. 
purpose produce is new browser right so if you want to scrape data you can put it under uh, under create new tab as a step eight so uh, so you will scrape one by one uh, one website by one website so it's cleaner All right so by the time they finish the running the whole power automate desktop you will get you will scrap all your uh, data so i am just going to run the oh, so i'm going to close this excel file i'm going to close this microsoft edge yeah i'm going to run it so it will launch the product listing first all right then after that you will open power uh, the power automate desktop website then you will go iteratively product one product two product three all right uh, then uh, it's finished so i hope this video has helped you uh, if it helps you please remember to subscribe um, and then uh, like the video also if you are uh, if you want to uh, tip me you can buy me coffee using the paypal link in the description all right uh, i think uh, that's it i hope to see you guys again in the new year thank you bye bye